What's up YouTube? It's your boy the Real Quinn Jr. and I'm back with another video on Naruto the Barto Shinobi Striker. Today I'm gonna be continuing my series on the clothing scale breakdowns. And today we're gonna be talking about skins of the teeth. This is a clothing skill that you get from the adult Naruto DLC. It's one of the awards you get, and it's just called the Kurama, so it's basically just like a little stuffed toy that goes on your back. But in this video, I'm going to be breaking down this clothing skill and giving y'all a build at the end that you know that might be able to help you out with using this. This video today is for the combo guide, so if you're good at knowing how to rank up the combos and stuff, then this might be a clothing skill that you might want to try out. But anyways, if you're new to the channel and this content is useful for you, make sure you comment, like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know anything I can do to make my videos better, and welcome to the channel. Those of you that have already been here, you already know how we start this video. Let's go ahead and run that intro. So like I said in the intro, the clothing skill is called Skin of Your Teeth. You can only get this clothing skill from the adult Naruto Baruto version DLC. And it's basically called Kurama, and it's basically like the little stuffed Kurama toy from one of the episodes, and it just hangs on your back. And what this does, it instantly refills a set amount of health when your combo reaches 9 hits or higher. So I'm going to be showing you how this works and you know how effective it can be and probably show you a trick that you didn't know about especially if you're a new player if you're a veteran then you're probably are going to know what i'm going to be doing this video about but anyways let's go and get to this content so if you didn't know the rasengan anytime you use it is an automatic 12 hit combo so if you remember what i said about this clothing skill it gives you back health every time you get nine you know nine hits you get where i'm getting to Anytime you use the Rasengan, you're going to get a 12 hit combo, which is going to give you back health. So when we get into the actual gameplay, you're going to see here that the Rasengan right there are 12 hits, and you see the health go up right there. And you know, it's not an extreme amount, but it's, you know, enough. You see again, the health goes up also. So when you use the normal Rasengan, it's also a 12 hit combo. And then also whenever you use the Rasen Rampage, it's going to be a 12 hit combo also. But that one wasn't a 12 hit simply because of the fact that I killed them. So that's one thing you do have to watch for. The Vanishing Rasen Gun is only a one hit, so it doesn't work. Whenever you come here, whenever you use the Flying Raijin level 2, it's an 8 hit combo also. So it doesn't meet the threshold. But if you can throw in a combo, so if you can like get the combo already started like I do right here and then throw it, you'll get up past that 9 combo threshold. And right there you see I get health from it. And I'm not sure about the 8 trigrams palm rotation or some of these other jutsus that might possibly have, like, you know, multiple hits also. I'm pretty sure the um, Rasen Shuriken is a one hit combo, so it doesn't go up to nine hits like the other ones do. So, but if you want to, you know, just use a jutsu to get this nine hit threshold using the Rasengan or using the Rasengan tool or Rasen Rampage works pretty well. Like I said, you just gotta remember to keep up with the health. Cause I mean, if you end up killing your opponent before you hit that nine point threshold, then you know, you're not going to get that health boost. One thing I will say, and you'll notice right here, it doesn't matter if you're getting ready to die if you throw the Rasengan tool. You see right there, I still got the nine hit combo. So that leads me to believe that possibly if you know you're using the Rasengan tool or just the normal Rasengan, it doesn't matter if you're getting ready to kill your opponent, you know, you're still going to get that threshold of the 9 hits. And you see right there, that's how you want to use the Flying Raijin. So, I mean, if you're going to use the Flying Raijin level 2 with this, you know, combo, you're either going to have to hit them first and then throw the Flying Raijin, or hit them with the Flying Raijin and then continue your combo in the air like you see most people do. Especially if your opponent doesn't have any subs, Flying Rising works really well with like, you know, connecting combos. If you get to like 6 while you're on the ground, then you hit them with the Flying Rising that adds like another 8 hits and then you continue in the air. The only thing about this ability that I noticed is that if you go above, so say you get 18, say you double the combo, you don't get health twice. So it's only whenever it goes, I guess that's why it's worded that way, where you only get health 
a set amount whenever you go above 9, but it doesn't multiply, so you'd have to restart your combo if you want to continue to get health, you know, over and over again. That's the only thing that sucks, and you know, it's something that I could see that they could make, you know, add to make this ability more used. Maybe more people would use it more if you could actually stack the 9 hit combo. So all around, there may be some more jutsu that you know you could utilize to hit this, you know, this nine hit point threshold. Because by no means am I saying that you have to use the raw sin gun and use this ability. I mean, if you're really good at you know getting your combos in, and you usually go above nine, then this uh, clothing skill might actually help you out. But then also, I mean, is this really better than the batter? Is this really better than battle hardened or you know renewed focus? Some of these other abilities and the way I feel about it right now. Probably not. I mean, because I mean, you know, Battle Harden gives you health for killing people. So, I mean, but I mean, if you're really knocking out the combos all the time, then maybe you'll end up getting more health with this instead of Battle Harden. But let me know if there's any other jutsus that y'all know that, you know, that hits the nine point threshold that I don't know about. Might try out some builds to see what I can put together. But all around, I mean, yeah, this is a pretty nice skill if you know how to use it. So, that's going to be it for the content today trying to work on you know getting the information out to y'all and not making my videos as long and drawn out but if you prefer the long and drawn out videos where I give y'all a little bit of extra commentary then let me know but um if, yeah if there's any other clothing skills that y'all want me to push up on the list like I said I'm gonna go through all the clothing skills and do a deep dive but if there's a certain one that you want me to push up let me know in the comments and you know I'll, I'll push that video up so I can help you out I really like, you know, whenever my videos help y'all because that's my goal with my videos. You know, I'm not trying to say I'm the best player or anything like that. I'm just trying to help the community. I'm trying to help new people get better, you know, and help everybody enjoy this game. But yeah, I mean, if you're new to the channel and you like this content and this helps you, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. It really helps out. This channel is nothing without y'all. And appreciate y'all for tuning in today. We post weekly content, so make sure you put on that bell notification so you can know when I post. And I'm going to see y'all next time. We up.